Hello, everybody. This is the best man here, bringing you Toy Soldiers Cold War, the first DLC pack. And we're on arms race, and right away, we're throwing in some crazy action. First thing you're going to want to do is start blowing up these turrets. The order in which you blow up the turrets is not so important when you're playing solo. As we come to find out, uh, me and Andrew, we worked on the achievement Brovia Trosha. Very important what order you kill these in. For the interest of the campaign, though, for the single player, doesn't really matter. Also, once you've blown up two of the four, make sure you launch this wave. It'll save you a little bit of time. And, it, obviously, time is one of the three deciding factors. When you are playing these campaign missions, what medal you are get. Hopefully, we get the platinum, which is three golds. But, either way, we are at least going to beat the level. But for the beginning part, really all you want to do, get in the tank, kill as many of these guys as you can, but don't worry if you miss a bunch like I clearly am, because all you have to do in that case is come back here, build a machine gun, build an artillery, I'm going to turn it once, and we're going to build an AA gun. So I'm going to hop in the machine gun here. That way we build our multiplier, maybe you get turbocharged, and it doesn't look like I left enough of them alive to turbocharge off of. A couple of them left here. Oh, we'll launch the next wave. Now real quick, I want to hop in this. Now just, uh, just a refresher, uh, to turbocharge you need to get a 20 times multiplier, but if you get a 40 times, boom, turbo. If you get a 40 times, you do get a free barrage. Obviously, barrage is very, very, very useful. I missed out there. I took too long aiming. But we will live without that because we have multiple instances of units giving us barrages on this level. There are also airplanes, but you don't need to worry about them. Oddly enough, the Signal Studios decided that the airplanes are going to attack you, but they will never try to enter the toy box. So you never actually have to worry about that, which is very, very nice. Alright, alright, uh, fire! Boom, that was a really good shot. I'm, frankly, I'm surprised I didn't get the 20 times there. Got it there, though. Hit that one guy. Oh, there's a couple of them. Oh, I totally misjudged that. You want to try to take control of the turrets as much as you can. It is very, very in your interest. You get the multiplier, you get uh, the ability to turbocharge. And, of course, there is the ability, once turbocharged, to just decimate. And to get multipliers even higher, 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 higher. And then to get a barrage. So, right here, these guys, these little jeeps, are two shots from a level 2 tank. Multiple shots if you miss, like I do. Okay, there's a mound of sand there that I consistently keep hitting. Like I said before, uh, you're going to have lots of planes, but you shouldn't have to worry about them too much. Just, uh, you know, let the AA do its job. Right now I've got it set as a level 1 AA. Oh yeah. I love the anti-tank because it works so well as anti-infantry. Nice turbo, come on, fire, fire, fire. Fire, there it goes. The anti-tank level two turbocharged, best thing in the game to turbocharge, I think, bar anything else. This thing just wreaks destruction upon your enemy. I really wish I had been able to knock out all these guys so it would have spawned the next wave. You, sir. Wow, you're the only one left. Uh, didn't quite get the turbo. Always on the on this level, but in general, always make sure you launch waves as soon as you can. That is very crucial to saving time. And there are three measurements for whether what kind of metal uh, you will get overall. There is the time metal, the profit metal, and the uh, toy box health metal. So obviously, we're we're always going to be aiming for the 20 out of 20 there. That will never change. But time and money can be an issue. Money more so than time. 
typically. And the reason for this is just the money metal is very, very difficult. You have to play minimalistically. You can only build a couple turrets, and you have to make sure the turrets that you do build are exactly the turrets you need, not not anything else. If it is anything other than exactly what you need, you will not get the metal you, you desire. Now you can see here, I am just wrecking like crazy. We're gonna launch the next wave. I'm at 104, 109 times multiplier. This is pretty crazy. I definitely, I well, I played this level on co-op with Andrew and he was getting some pretty crazy multipliers as well. Turbo, I told you, turbocharged anti-tank is where it's at, guys. Anytime you get a chance to turbocharge the anti-tank, make sure you take it. It does amazing against infantry. It does great against vehicles, as you're seeing right now. Like, look at this. You just, you can't compete with this level of destruction right here. Being able to keep it turbocharged can sometimes be a problem. You can see right now. Wow, 150 times combos earned. Look at that, guys. 150. But you can see, like, just the absolute destruction. Nothing else is needed. But, like, I do have to stress that this is pretty rare. You have to be on top of everything. Like, you, it's crazy hard to keep this going. Especially these infantry here are resistant to the anti-tank. It's not designed to kill infantry. It just happens to be pretty good at it. But these guys, uh, these are the, like, upgraded infantry you see here. They have more health, and they also shoot small rocket uh, RPG type dealies. So they are a little more difficult. You can see we're at 200 times now. Even these tanks. Oh, it finally wore off. Had I been able to keep it going, these tanks right here wouldn't have even been an issue. But I also fortunately got Ivan. Ivan is probably the best barrage you can get. Well, the laser beam is really good too. I can't, uh, I can't discredit that. But uh, the reason I'm excited for Ivan is that it'll save me money in the long run by not having to build level three anti-tank. I also note that I am about to die there. I'm gonna pivot that. That'll just give me a little better coverage on these, uh, okay, they got killed. Let's see if we can help out, uh, back here a little bit. Like I said, these guys do have a little bit extra health, so that level 1 machine gun, although doing its job, is doing its job a little slower than usual. Alright, so mostly we're just gonna have some infantry here at the end. I'm gonna activate Ivan now. And at the same time, I'm going to launch the final wave. And you can see Ivan just is destruction. That's why it's when you have the opportunity to get a barrage, you have to make sure you take it. Because if there's a chance that you're going to get Ivan, if there's a chance that you can get the laser beam or an AC-130, like they all are just absolute destruction. You will win so easily and you can see that right there we just took out golden tanks which are very very powerful tanks very powerful very able to blow up your stuff and we just took them out like it was nothing well for the instance of trying to map, mop this level up quickly we're just gonna hop in the tank and there's one guy left now he's oh he's not dead yet Interestingly enough, enemies die when they touch your vehicles. Perfect, perfect, gold, gold, gold. Look at that. Got the platinum finally. Super excited. So there you goes, go there you goes, guys. There you guys go. Gold, gold, gold. Ninety-two percent. All I could say is, when you have a chance to turbocharge, you take it and you just wreck house with that anti-tank. I thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.